universe of science fiction. Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 4 of The Road Not Taken, The Awful Review. Uh, quite an interesting episode this, there was a lot in this. Some uh, revelations, uh, hoping to go to the Krill homeworld. We find out Mercer has the kid to say it's Celia from the first or second season when she infiltrated the Orville. All hail Avis. Yeah, you, you know, we did get to see Avis in this, which was sort of interesting. Uh, we've, we looked at Krill society. Uh, it was a perfect. I got a sort of Blade Runner feel. You know, you saw their cityscape and all the buildings. I mean, it was impressive. I think my uh, TV has upscaled it and it looks amazing. So the Kalon, uh, the formless alliance, they've got this Chancellor, the Krill, but then we get populism and, and, and all this back on their planet about how they've been infected by the planetary union and then we're going to join with them and all this. And it all ends up like uh, with Celia takes advantage and she leads basically a revolution against the Chancellor. She murders them in front of the entire uh, grill race and she's effectively took over. But I think she's in love with Mercer. I think there's a lot more going on with her, like feeling wise. And we find out he has a daughter. We've got old Bruce Boxleitner as the president of the Planetary Union. I didn't recognise him. I knew he was in this episode. Started looking round for him. I thought he was a thrill. And then I heard his voice. Normally you see his teeth are just like a... When he smiles, his teeth are so perfect, you know. But there was a lot going on. Uh, the... Uh, Planetary Union, it all kicked off in the Krill system with two fleets at each other, blowing the shit out of each other. Uh, the rescue Mercer, he's got this daughter. Apparently she's like highly intelligent. Uh, but the Chancellor, the Celia, she's hid her away. But she's like a bridge of both races. Obviously, in future episodes, that is going to come across that she's like uh, the bridge between the Krill and, and the planetary human, you know, two races coming together. Uh, interesting, I wasn't expecting this. I thought the Krill Alliance had gone through, but obviously not. But this is all going to fall apart because the Kalon will attack the Krill and wipe the floor with them. And that's when the planetary union will probably get involved to be a new, allow uh, uh, a new alliance. Did remind me of uh, Next Generation. You remember when Klingon Civil War started? Sort of got that vibe from it. You know, when Orville were in there. You remember when Enterprise was above the Klingon homeworld and they couldn't interfere when it all started kicking off? I know it wasn't like that in this, but I got that feeling. Of, you know, it reminded me of that episode. I thought the effects in this, I mean, they really gone to the works with this episode they really have uh, but very impressed for episode 4 there's a lot going on and they've set it up for later in this season now I don't think we're going to start seeing anything for a few episodes now I thought this was going to be a two parter because you have Ted Dancer Kelly Hugh Victor Gerber I mean Bruce Boxman a whole big star list normally when they get the big stars in they get two episodes like get them in for a two-parter but a fantastic episode i have to say i've not we're four episodes into the all but i've not found a problem with it you know and i thought how they were doing uh the thing about nationalism and all this in in this episode populism with the grill was very cleverly done you know it, 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 it was really clever that is how you write science fiction for me it, it, I found the episode one patronised and all they had this story, but obviously there's this meaning in there. Uh, I'm not going to get political, people are going to view it how they're going to view it. But I found it interesting, it reminds, it, you see, it reminds me of Star Trek, how they used to tell these 
quite stories with the messaging. And I found this worked really well. So roll on episode five. I, I just, honestly, this series for me just couldn't get any better. I hope we get a season four, I really do. So this is just a quick review. I'm sorry I'm late on this, because uh, I've, I've had a busy weekend. Uh, so I thought I'd get this thing quick this morning before I have to go out. And uh, so I will see you on the next video. But before I go, please subscribe. Please share and please give us a like and definitely leave a comment. I try to get back to most of the comments uh, when I can. Uh, so at some point I will answer, answer it. Uh, so live long and prosper and I will see you on the next video.